I'm a lazy data engineer, so I'll always prefer a library over writing something from scratch. In Databricks, there's a few ways to use libraries, and this came up in a training course I taught recently, so I thought it was worth a video. There's two things to consider with libraries, the source and how you want to install it. One, sources. For libraries created by your company or your teammates, you can use any library stored in your workspace files in a UC volume or storage like S3 or ADLS. And for generic public libraries, you can use a package repo like PyPy, Maven, CRAN, or a code repo from GitHub, but it might already be on the cluster. Databricks pre-installs popular libraries like matplotlib and scikit-learn. If you're using the ML runtime, you get even more, and with GPUs, you get the relevant GPU versions. Check out the library section on the notebook UI. So that's the sources. Let's look at how you can install it. Now, the big decision is whether you want to install it at the cluster level so that everyone can access the library or just at the notebook level for your access and avoid collisions or oversharing with coworkers. If you go for the notebook, you can use percent pip install syntax in a Python cell with a few variations depending on where it's sourced. It should then come up on the left of the UI under Python libraries. And because it's at the individual notebook level, you can now use secrets to access a private mirror or a private GitHub. So the alternative is at the cluster level, Good for collaborative work and great for enforcing standards on your coworkers. With the UI, head to Compute, go to Libraries and install new and pick the options that you want. If you're an Infra's code person, this can all be done with the API. And jobs clusters don't have a UI like this, so instead specify the libraries in the task. Now, some of you are going to be using clusters on easy mode, aka serverless, and don't worry, you can still use libraries with this too. In the UI, there's the environments panel and you could add your libraries to the dependency section. So that's libraries in a nutshell, where you can source them and how you can install them. If you like Databricks and want to see what else is hot on Data and AI, follow for more.